Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how much do I make with Tor Guard VPN? How much do I make with other VPN providers? This is just a video for full transparency and I don't think it's really a kind of video or content that literally any other VPN reviewer would make. So let's get into it. All right guys, so let's talk about the specific earning potential for each VPN provider. How much can I make by recommending you to each subsequent VPN provider? Now this all has to do with affiliate commissions and stuff like that. I'm not sponsored by any VPN and you don't really have to be sponsored by any VPN to make money with them. Pretty much anyone that has a blog or channel or anything like that can ask the VPN or just automatically become an affiliate for the VPN provider. Now they'll get a special link that they could put somewhere and if someone clicks on it and buys the product, the person that made the link or is the affiliate will make a certain percentage of the VPN product price. So certain VPNs like ExpressVPN are around $13, some like Nord are around $12. Now keep in mind, this is all talking about the one month price. Uh, IP Vanish is 10 bucks, Winscribe is around $9 for the pro plan, CyberGhost is 13, AirVPN is around $7, TorGuard is around $5 a month with promo code TomSpark. So guys, how much money do I make with each one of these um, affiliates? Um, you know, how does how does it break down? Well, the thing that's funny to me is that when people call me a TorGuard shell or say, man, he must be making so much money with TorGuard VPN. He's just such a shell. Well, that's actually kind of funny to me because let's bring up the chart right now. If I recommend you to buy TorGuard with coupon code TomSpark, you're getting 50% off the package price of 10 bucks. Therefore, the price is only $5. However, I only make 30% commissions with TorGuard VPN. So if you buy a month of TorGuard VPN after using my code TomSpark, it's only gonna be five bucks, and I'm gonna be paid a whopping $1.50. So in order to actually make a lot of money with TorGuard VPN, I would have to sell so many sales. I would have to have so many customers buy so many affiliations. Um, it's just not a viable business plan to be a VPN reviewer and to recommend products like TorGuard or AirVPN. If you look at AirVPN here on the chart, uh, if someone buys one month of it, I'll only make $1.40. However, guys, the story is entirely different when you consider other VPN providers. And this is why whenever you go to any other channel on YouTube, any other review site on the internet, you're gonna see people recommending stuff like NordVPN and ExpressVPN. These VPNs are the most popular VPNs, which is one reason people recommend them as well because they get high surf traffic. But one reason I do believe that they became so popular is the companies behind them had really big budgets. They're huge tech companies behind these companies that have huge budgets, so they can afford to lose some of the margin. So NordVPN, if I were to recommend you to buy it and you clicked on it and you bought one month of it, I would make $12. NordVPN costs $12. So I'm making 100% of the commissions with NordVPN, ExpressVPN, IPVanish, and CyberGhost. So it would take around 12 to 13 people to buy TorGuard for one NordVPN or ExpressVPN sale. So you could see why it's funny to me when people call me a TorGuard shill or something like that. Because the fact of the matter is that if I actually wanted to go buy a Lamborghini or a Porsche or anything like that that I can't buy today... I would just recommend you to buy other VPNs. Not only that, it's like, it would be a pretty easy narrative here in the channel, if I started it from the beginning with this intention, to just recommend these products. Um, it's easy to recommend these products because they're recommended everywhere else for the for the factor that the people are recommending them are making a lot of money, as you could see here. But recommending a niche or lower ranked product recommending a product that is not as popular and gives you lower commission rates let's just say it's not exactly the formula to, for success and i think that's one reason why here on the channel we might actually be a little bit lower in terms of subscriptions or views than some other channels out there or even some other kind of content out there that's recommending high commission products that have more search results that is actually one reason why I do make a lot of critical videos on some of these other VPN providers because they do have high search results, stuff like NordVPN, ExpressVPN, or some of the other ones out there. 
I do like to make critical videos of these products because they do get high search results and I do get more traffic on that, some of those videos and I can kind of tell people maybe suggest other products that I think would fit you better um, and are cheaper for them and that way you know they might save some money in the long run. But this was just kind of like a rambly video guys I, I recognize that I just kind of wanted to talk about you know more transparency in how this pricing works. Maybe writing the numbers down like I have, showing you how much I could make, um, but I choose not to, showing you know what other websites do make and choose not to recommend other ones. This is kind of like the age old answer to the question, why don't other people recommend things like TorCard, AirVPN, other VPNs like that with low commission rates? Well, you could see why from these numbers. It's just simply not worth it financially. And honestly, I think there should be probably a standardization or normalization of the affiliate commission industry or affiliations themselves. All the VPNs, I think, should have 30% commission rates. There shouldn't be any VPNs that offer so much commission rates. Or maybe there should be some kind of law where someone can't advertise a VPN or advertise certain VPNs with commission rates and maybe not disclose it. You know, if someone's recommending a product and you're going to go buy it, the person might want to disclose, you know, the commission rate itself. So that way the person watching the content would recognize how much that person's going to make. I think more transparency about these things could be helpful. And yeah, what do you guys think down in the comments down below? Let me know. I'll see you again on the next video very soon.